What's up everybody, it's your girl Nia the Video Gamer and I am so sorry that I haven't made a video in a long time and I know y'all hear me say that a lot but I have been trying to get better with making video content now that I've got my new PC. You know, situations have changed to where it, it makes it easier for me to make videos now, at least off camera videos. But um, I just wanted to take a moment to just kind of enlighten you guys on what has been going on with me. So to those of you guys who might be friends with me on Facebook, um, you might know that I recently lost two relatives in the span of a couple of weeks. I had two uncles pass away uh, within mere like weeks from one another and their funerals were back to back obviously because of that reason. And so I've kind of found myself in a small bout of depression, you know what I mean? Not depression, you know, what you would typically think of, you know, someone that has, you know, major depressive order, disorder or something like that. But just really to the point where I really couldn't muster the strength to do anything other than play video games. Like I didn't go to the gym, I didn't really go anywhere. You know, I kind of slacked off at work a little bit because I've been really sad. You know, I loved my uncles. You know, and it always hurts when you've lost, you know, individuals that were near and dear to your heart. But I've come to terms with the passing of my uncles. And, you know, at this point, I'm just, you know, celebrating the life that they did have. And I'm back to normal now. I mean, of course, I still miss my uncles. But, um, you know, I'm finally at a, a point where I can operate and, you know, live a productive life again. So that's part of the reason why I haven't been making videos or, you know, if you feel that I've been kind of meh lately, you know, that's kind of been what's been going on with me. But the topic that I wanted to talk about today is that, you know, I've noticed in the community that there is always so much nagging and complaining. And I'm mostly talking about the Nintendo fan base. And don't get me wrong, there are so many things that Nintendo does wrong. <laughs> And they always give you a reason to face palm and shake your head. They give you a reason to be mad because they do, they do a lot of crazy things that alienate their fan base. They do a lot. They make a lot of polarizing decisions. And that is definitely not to be argued. Like that is just how it's been since... The Nintendo 64, choosing the stick with cartridges, the GameCube, you know, that weird lunchbox looking thing with the mini discs, the Wii in itself was just an anomaly. And, you know, the way that they even do their franchises, how they separate 2D from 3D, and, you know, just the way that they do things in general, it always tends to split their fan base in segments, especially since Nintendo has been around for so long. The fan base is already divided based on generational gaps. So Nintendo has a conundrum of issues to worry about. That being said, because Nintendo has a plethora of issues to worry about, I think that it's time for Nintendo fans to just kind of stick to the basics. I think it's too many times where Nintendo fans you know, they go off, they get off centered because of something that happened. And the main thing these days being third party support, third party support. And the reason why I decided to make this video, this is something that's been on my mind for a, a little while, but I'm finally getting around to talk to you guys about it is the video that I forgot his name. But he's got like the deep, sultry voice. He's the guy who was known for this Xenoblade Chronicles video. I think his name is Andrew Wisen or Eisen, something like that. Y'all know who I'm talking about. And this is not a diss, a diss to his video or anything like that. You know, his video, like, it's the truth, you know. But, you know, there's so many Nintendo fans that are either in denial or they get extremely upset when you mention that the Wii U doesn't have very good third party support, if any. Really the only people currently supporting the Wii U are Nintendo and Indies. And I'm, obviously I'm cool with that. I've been a Nintendo fan for 20 plus years. And it's been this way since the Nintendo 64. Honestly, <laughs> I don't even know why people still get mad about it. It's like, it's been this way for literally generations and you guys get mad 
generation in and out when a game is not coming to a Nintendo system or if it does come it's like the lesser version or something I honestly don't understand and that brings me to my point finally um stop getting mad about third party support <laughs> like I know that's easier said than done but stop Stop getting mad about it. There's really literally nothing you can do about it. You know why? Because Nintendo made it that way. These are institutional things, policies uh, that Nintendo has upheld since its uh, foray into interactive entertainment. And shut up, just shut up. Like if a game is not coming to the Wii U, just shrug it off and be like, okay, well, I guess I'll just stick with what I got. I mean, because really that's all you can do. Because like I said, you know, the thing with third party support, that is a company to company situation. That is only something that Nintendo can fix with uh, connecting those ties that they've lost amongst some other things like the way that they make their hardware. All of that stuff is stuff that will take years to put into action. Stop asking for it. Unless Nintendo money has at this point, they're not getting the same level of third party support. Stop asking for it. Sure, you know, you could hint to Nintendo, hey, it would be awesome if this game and this game and this came, you know, came to Nintendo. But as far as campaigning for it and getting mad, huffing and puffing, it's stop. It's a lost cause. Except that the Wii U will not be getting third-party support on the same level as it did as Nintendo did back in the Super Nintendo days. It's not happening. Let it go. But let me tell you something you can fix right now. Some things that Nintendo can fix in mere months. They could even fix these things by Christmas. One of these things has already been alleviated and fixed in the last couple of days. And I'm talking about folders. Oh my Jesus! We finally got folders after two years of the Wii U being on the market. We finally have folders. That is incredible, am I right? So, obviously I'm talking about things that can be fixed like system-wide invites, on-screen notifications, party chat, messaging through the friends list, all of these things could literally be fixed in a firmware update by Christmas. I promise you there's a way it could happen if Nintendo's programming team let the higher ups know like, hey, look, the Wii U is currently not user friendly. Oh my God, let's find a way to make it user friendly, right? They could do that. And then the Wii U could be the best Nintendo machine. It might not have third party support, but it will have all of your favorite Nintendo franchises, some amazing indie games, and a user friendly interface. Wouldn't that be amazing? I'm sorry for my passive aggressiveness, but this is really a serious thing for me. And when I see Nintendo fans complaining about things that will literally take years to fix things that don't rely solely on Nintendo because other parties are involved, aka third parties, it really makes me wonder if people would take the same energy that they use to campaign for third party games that don't want to be on Nintendo in the first place Imagine how powerful the fan base could be with Nintendo fixing internal changes. Things that Nintendo themselves have the power to change. They don't have to talk to anybody else. They don't have to consult with anybody else. These are internal Nintendo things that they can fix. I think that that would put the Wii U in a much better position if Nintendo fans could focus that energy on things that could literally be fixed within the next couple of months because when Super Smash Brothers for Wii U comes out I don't want to have the same issues that I'm currently having with Mario Kart 8 I love Mario Kart 8 it is one of my favorite games that has released this year 
but not being able to invite friends to games, not being able to talk to my friends during matches unless I use some other type of software like Skype is very annoying. Not being able to instant message my friend and they get the message on screen with an on-screen notification to let them know that I want to play a game with them is very annoying. Nintendo fans, you can do this. I promise you can. Nintendo is a very traditional company. They are very set in their ways, but they do have methods to where you can communicate with them. They might not really respond on their social media, but you can bet your bottom dollar that they're reading. And another thing, if you are not a Club Nintendo member, become a member today. Because there are surveys waiting for your opinion. Their surveys are dedicated to getting your opinion. Remember, Nintendo stuck in the 90s. They still do surveys. They don't they don't get on Twitter and talk to you straight up from Twitter, but you better believe they read those surveys. You better believe they're reading your Meverse messages. You better believe they are reading your tweets and your Facebook your Facebook posts. They are. They might not respond, but they're reading. And one thing that I could say for sure is especially about the surveys, utilize them to the fullest extent because there are customer service representatives at Nintendo right now that get paid to read your surveys and they get paid to read your emails, which is also another way to communicate with them. Remember, it's the 90s for them. Email is the best way. You've got mail. Hello. Use it. And if you're one of those individuals that complain about Nintendo, but you do not tell Nintendo the way that you feel either through their social media, their email, Nintendo Club, Nintendo surveys, or any of those other methods like Meverse, you are a fraud. And you just want a place to complain. Complaining to other fans is not going to get you results. You really don't care that much. You just need an outlet. You need a soapbox, right? And I can't stand those kind of people. Because if you complain about something, act like you are about that, be about that, and act upon that. Do you hear me? Anyway, that's my mini rant for the day. Don't be a fraud, y'all. Use these methods to your advantage. Or else you are doing Nintendo a grave disservice. Just saying. I'm just saying. Talk to you later. Peace.